Bali earthquake live maps. Lombok hit by the seventh quake today. More than 20 hit Indonesia. As we know, they're on the ring of fire. It's been a few days that all this has been going on. Indonesia hit by a seventh earthquake this morning. It's a tourist hotspot. Lombok, Bali and the Jili Islands struggle to deal with all this devastation. Sam Stevenson Express UK reports magnitude 5.9 earthquake is what hit Lombok on Thursday. It's the latest of a series of very strong earthquakes on this area, the tropical tourist island. It has taken the lives of more than 300 people in the past two weeks. Major aftershocks continue to strike the island. And as we know, with every major aftershock, the buildings get even weaker and they are more prone to just crumble. The death toll climbed to 347, according to government news agency Antara. While National Disaster Agency stood by an official death toll at 131, the realistic figure is expected to be in the hundreds as officials try to clear the rubble to find uh, any people that are trapped. More than 1,300 homes have been destroyed in the earthquake. Since Sunday, there have been dozens of smaller tremors and even major aftershocks. They've hit the region, wrecking further destruction and taking further lives. And it's still ongoing. In the last seven days, a total of 20 quakes have hit the region according to U.S. Geological Survey. Sunday, the 6.9 magnitude earthquake, the second major one in two weeks, hit with such a strength that an aftershock was felt over in neighborhood neighboring Bali. Continuing, numbers of earthquakes hit the embattled areas clustering around all this northwestern area. Some of just four magnitude, others are around 5.3, 5.5, 5.9, so they are not small. And you have here the latest maps, the live maps on Bali earthquakes. Friday, today, August 10th, estimated 20,000 people have been displaced by this massive earthquake. This is what Sutopo Purwo Nugroho said. He's the head of Indonesia's disaster management department. The most of those that have lost their lives in the quake were hit by falling debris from collapsing buildings. The disaster management said that's how he explained it. Of course, there are horrific videos tweeted by authorities showing hundreds of people, many believed to be holiday takers, tourists, that is crammed onto a beach on the island of Gili, Tarwanang because evacuation measures have been underway. Bali tourism remains conductive. Bali's Minister of Tourism released an official statement saying that Bali tourism remains conductive despite Lombok earthquake. Well, as you can understand, this is they are a tourist destination. That's where most of their profits come from. This would be a devastation if tourists flee from the area and others who are uh, uh, destined to come, just don't take the trip. To date, he says the government of Indonesia through its central and regional disaster management agencies are still working on the reconstruction and rehabilitation of the aftermath in Lombok. Efforts have been made to make sure that all tourists in Lombok and Bali are well taken care of. Flights in and out of Lombok and Bali international airports are operating as normal, they said and we'll keep you updated on this. This is, as we understand, ongoing. It's on the Ring of Fire, and that's where 90% of the world's uh, earthquakes and volcanoes are located. Kindly support by contributing to my Patreon account. You'll find it in the description box below. Thank you.